This is how we replace the paper towels in the Kimberly Clark Professional Machine um, when they're running low. How we know they're running low, uh, you can see through the window on the side here. Uh, the roll, the current roll that's in, will sit flush um, with the plastic holder so you know it will fit in uh, location two, we'll call it down here. So location one, new roll, location two, stub roll. Uh, it should be at about, I'd probably 10% from, from, you know, the original roll. Um, this is too big. Uh, it won't fit in this location. It will get stuck on the back in the battery container. Um, so what we'll do is we take the stub roll now from location one, bring it down, lock it into location two here. Make sure it's secure. If it's not secure, it might still be too large. Then you put it back here and you change it another day. Once you have this in, you're going to feed it through the bottom here, underneath here. Hit this self-feed button here. It goes down and in. Now you're going to want to take your brand new roll here and you're going to want to move this brand new roll to location one up top. So we're going to lock in this brand new roll up top here. Make sure it's in, secure. And then again, under this lifter, where the stub roll uh, location in location two, which is going to be the current roll until it runs out, underneath this plastic uh, piece, we're going to go underneath here. And we're actually going to tack the roll on this tiny little tack here. You come in, you could see that. Once we tack the roll, we're going to slightly pull back the roll just to ensure that there's no slack. And this might want it to be a little bit cleaner here uh, of a cut, but you tack it, you pull it back. So what's going to happen is once the stub roll is empty, this pressure bar pushes down and then starts to feed the brand new roll from the top. And then we just continue with the same uh, procedure, moving location A down to B, and then so forth. Close it up, and that's it.